hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we are going to talk about the latest Hikvision x series of dvrs basically Hikvision brought these dvr in the market to support the new upcoming two-way audio cameras so current dvr won't support two-way audio cameras because Hikvision is going to release these cameras currently you can only hear so you can't talk but new tv cameras you can talk as well to support those two cam those kind of cameras so he couldn't brought this DVR in the market. Okay, so before we start this uh, visit video, I'll tell you the difference between the uh, main difference between the old DVR, the one you might be using, and this new X series. The eight channel DVR we are using here. The old eight channel DVR has a bandwidth of 128 Mbps, but this new X series DVR has a bandwidth, good bandwidth, 256, double the bandwidth. So why we need a good bandwidth? So basically, when you access your uh, you know remotely view your cameras on your mobile phone tablet or pc so if the bandwidth is good so you can easily view no interruption you know like a uh, problem with the sign you know when you if the picture quality or the slowness something like that so if good bandwidth you can easily view everything on your mobile phone or your tablet streaming quality is good basically the second uh, the other eight channel dvr support only four IP cameras or four IP device I would say because uh, it might be your doorbell as well IP as long as the Hikvision IP devices so it can support four IP devices and but new DVR support up to eight IP devices so basically you can have eight analog cameras and then you can a add eight IP devices maybe eight cameras so that become 16 channel DVR basically and the last thing about this DVR not last thing so many things but the third one is 10 TV old dvr support one hard drive you know this uh, dvr has only hard drive one hard drive bay so they can maximum support one hard drive so the maximum capacity of the old 8 channel was 10 tb uh, and the new one can support up to 12 tb one single hard drive 12 tb okay these are the like a basic one the new difference in a new one new features with this one but few more we have we will discuss one by one let's go to the wizard video now so this when you Plug the DVR, power the DVR. This screen will appear. So good. So you can do here. So country is United Kingdom. Okay, that's okay. We are in United Kingdom. Okay. Then the language done. The time zone perfect. Date format. Everything is good. Date is good. And enable the DST. You know, in March time and October time, the clock move forward, backward, and then one hour difference. That's why you always make sure put March last Sunday one, and the end time should be October last sunday two okay that's the one and the 60 minute okay then we go next put the password okay just to let you know it won't accept like a random password like one two three yes make sure you have to put something else i'll put here if i do like this like one two three just to let you know it won't accept so you have you can't do one two three just for security reason that's good so we'll do three, two, one, just for the sake of our video. We're making three. Okay. You can choose whichever you like. Make sure you remember that password. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, two, one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next. Next, a uh, password hint you like, or but I'll put the unlock pattern okay so i'll put the pattern here easy to remember just i'm putting l here okay okay so you have a two choice you have a password if you can't remember your password you can log in through this pattern okay then we put uh activate and then it's your time is perfect date is perfect system date is perfect time is okay then we go next because we have connected internet cable to our dvr so that's why the DSCP is on here you can see IP address is here as well okay and then we go next initialize the hard drive so highly recommended always initialize the hard drive whenever you plug in a new hard drive install the hard drive initialize so this way you know your hard drive is perfect nothing wrong with the hard drive should go to 100% that means your hard drive is fine to record ready to record okay so you can move forward as well but I would recommend just to wait here see whether your hard drive is 100% okay or not status so that's we are going to check here now okay 
Okay, that's perfect. Just quick. The speed is quick of this DVR. Okay, 100% done. Then next, and now you can see the devices in our premises, your IP devices. So showing here as well because our DVR is so intelligent, they can find how many IP devices as long as your net cable is connected to the internet. Okay, so these are the devices in our building. Okay, but we go next. So you because you want to view your cameras, whatever, on your mobile phone. That's why you have to enable the say connect and then accept the term and condition. Okay. Okay. Then, okay. So now showing connection so quick, it's fast. Showing online now. And this DVR binary status, no, because this DVR is not connected to anybody's HIC account. So that's why showing no. If you plug the uh, sorry connect this dvr or scan this qr code then you can add this dvr to your account the status minus status showing yes and also verification code is a random one here but i would recommend something which you can remember so you can change here edit and then you put something which you can remember so i'll do this same exactly like our password which we did and once you do and then make sure confirm yes it's done now if you have a connect account done and then you can scan this QR code then the device is added to your account okay yeah also one more thing about the Wi-Fi sometimes people make a mistake let's say they install the DVR and they're on the same network and their Wi-Fi is on when their Wi-Fi is on when they scan this QR code their DVR only works when they are in a Wi-Fi zone in a mobile uh, on a remote view and when they're outside the Wi-Fi zone, it won't work. So make sure when you scan this QR code, switch off your Wi-Fi. Highly recommend it. Yes, switch off your Wi-Fi. Then this scan the QR code. Okay. We go next now. The new verification code is only valid for videos afterward. That's perfect. No problem. Okay. And this just in case you forget your password, you can't remember something. Just for security reasons, you can fill up your details. So I will leave it for the time being. And now uh, enable password free login. After password free login is enabled, the device password will no longer be verified before the user log out. Please keep your device and password safe too. Okay, that's okay. Now we'll see what this DVR has new feature. So also here, yeah, this is something new. Enable the camera microphone. After enabling the camera, my camera would record audio. Okay, you yes, it will record the audio as well. Now, what this DVR has new? Let's we go one by one. When you go to the menu, okay, and look at here maintenance. Normally, we used to have only these simple restore, factory restore, factory default, and restore to inactive. But the new feature here, look at this more. What this more has? Let's see. Okay, we'll go here now. Buzzer switch. After disabling buzzer with alarm linkage or exceptional linkage will be disabled. Okay, at the moment what happens, let's say your hard drive got faulty, you have an internet issue and some of your camera might be working and they have a net issue, something like that. So many exceptions might be happen. So you see a buzzer, you hear a buzzer. So what happens, sometimes it's annoying as well. Sometimes people, you know, network issue, something happens, they don't want to hear, let's say. So I'll recommend leave it as it is, but you can disable as well, yes, like this. Okay, you won't hear any something like that. Okay, and now you can apply, but I'll leave it enable at the moment. And now, okay, this is something very important which we highly recommend to the people, customers as well. So make sure whenever you buy any new DVR and VR, try to reboot at least in a month, at least, or maybe twice a week. Uh, sorry, uh, after 14 days, or but at least in a month, and people got frustrated because they forget when to do, how to do, or they don't have a time. But just here, look at here now, what Hikvision did, piece of cake. So just go to your device status, uh, sorry, enable schedule, you can enable it now. And then you can do, yeah, then you can select the time you like, yes. So let's say you don't, it will happen automatically. You don't need to do physically. Once you set this one, like every Monday you want, and, and you can select the time as well whichever you like and apply maybe 10 o'clock or 11 once you're on monday morning so you can see okay apply okay done yes okay so make sure when you apply this one so system might take a couple of minutes based on that i think a couple of minutes but during that 
couple of minute time you don't have a recording so make sure you select the time when something is not very critical time when chances are something can happen so do not select that time so some time when you are next to the we we are whenever mostly you are in, there yes just try that time okay so this is the one okay let's go back here now so we go to the live view that's the camera one we have connected let's see this another feature so when you go configuration and then go to the camera and the okay yeah normal event okay normal event when we go to the right here let's see okay parameters connection one second one second I'm going. Uh, okay now we'll go to the system where the system configuration and the system okay what is new here look at here now when you go here you can see these vivid bright soft custom what is that let's see click on the vivid and view so you can see how what camera quality you prefer sometimes you prefer this quality so you can leave it as it is this quality okay vivid one and sometime let's say bright you might see the bright one is better for you it's your choice to be honest but these features are new one so you can see as well and the third one you can see soft let's see how it look like if you like this kind of uh, quality you can leave as it is and the fourth one if you want to customize let's say you can't do anything but here you can customize let's see if i like this brightness should be low okay high saturation like this you can customize this is for your customize okay you can see i'll cancel it okay so i'll leave it as by default standard <clears throat> and what else i think that's the one it has okay and let's see live view and a playback something else new in the playback select the camera okay <clears throat> the old dvr you won't see these features you know you want to see the footage and you have to always move this one but here you can do 30 second forward 30 second quickly forward and also 30 second backward as well so this is something new okay with this dvr apart from uh, apart from that the all basic settings are there just like other dvrs but how often we use all the features so basic features like uh, these are the one we use so which we have explained if you have any query or question about this new one you can feel free to email us or you can contact us. Thanks for watching our video. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye.